G'day guys, what's cracking? Two Aussie here again. So, I'm off to Pizza Hut today. Gonna give Pizza Hut a go, I don't do them very often. I know sometimes people comment and say, you know, maybe you should do a Pizza Hut video. But the thing is, I gotta tell you, most of the time Pizza Hut don't appeal to me as far as they don't give me offers, they don't give me deals. Um, Dominoes are always on the ball, always up in their game. So anyway, I went into the Pizza Hut app and I thought, yeah, you know, Supreme, Veg, Meat Lovers, all the same old sort of thing, just with maybe fancier names. So I had to dig pretty deep. And I still wasn't finding anything. And then I, then I dug really deep into the app and I found something that's apparently new. There's a couple of new ones in the premium range. So I had to go all the way to the premium range to find something that I found interesting. The premium range has a thing, like I just said, the chicken and bacon. It's got an Alfredo sauce. And it's also saying for a limited time that you can get a cheesy stuff, or not, not cheesy, sorry, a stuffed crust. So what I'm going to do is I'm not going to check out what the crust is. I have had a bit of a look I couldn't find what it was anyway I'm assuming cheese but guys I'll wait until I get the pizza and we'll share that moment together so see what's in the cheesy crust like I said I'm assuming it's um, oh the stuffed crust I'm assuming it's uh, cheese it could be sauce you never know but also it's um, usually an extra three dollars this is a premium pizza I'll save a bit of money on that. So guys, they did come up with something and let's see if I end up going to Pizza Hut again because i got to tell you, I like any sort of pizza except frozen pizza. So it's not about the pizza, it's about what they can do for me, what offers, what deals. I get um, some emails and things from them sometimes, but there's never anything that really stands out to me like Domino's does. So anyway, I'll get in there, grab this chicken bacon uh, creamy pizza with a stuffed crust and guys it's saying it's new this pizza there's two new ones in the premium range there's also the stuffed crust is for a limited time if you know anything about that let me know and also I like like uh, Red Rooster I can't find prices anywhere unless it's something that's like a value thing so I have no idea what it's going to cost I have no idea what it's going to taste like and I have no idea what's the crust like and hopefully they'll get it right so guys I'll pop in and grab it and I'll get back to you shortly. See you soon. So, here we are. Got my Pizza Hut pizza. Gourmet chicken and bacon. Alfredo, or creamy, it's actually called creamy chicken and bacon. Which is an Alfredo sauce. Um, got a receipt, but I also... I figured out what it was as I ordered. I pulled over the side of the road and just ordered it so I'd be ready when I get there. $17.95. So, and I've got to tell you guys, sometimes you go to these places and you get such crap service. This guy, I'm going to give him five stars out of five for his service. He was amazing. And that's the sort of thing that makes you come back. And I'll tell you, if even if this pizza isn't the best, there's a good chance I'm going to go back because the customer service was great. So anyway... Got my little tray out, as you can see. Let's check this out. Now, what he did was, <laughs> he put it on the counter. I was the only person in there, and we had a little bit of a chat. He told me that, I asked him, how long has this been new? And he said, two, maybe three weeks. So we got in. A, I got in at a good time. It's not too old yet. There was two in the range that were new. The other one was something like a Mega Meat Lovers or something like that. And because he'd opened it up, and I was wondering if it had the stuff crust, because you never know. It looks to me like it's got the stuffed crust, so let's just try and get a good angle on it. So that's it there. Got cheesy crust, so the thing is, this isn't a pizza that comes with a stuffed crust. They're giving it like that. You can change it, you don't have to have it. This tray thing's not going to work out, but we'll just do it like this, at least you can see it. <laughs> so you don't have to have the, cheese, uh, the stuffed crust, but if you want it, you can get it for free for $3.00. Now, why I said that's pretty weighty, you can see how thick that is. I actually got a, I think it's personal pan, it's called. Stuffed crust. Looks fantastic. Now, like I said, I'm in 
a pretty quiet place here at the moment. I don't know if you heard that. Some Yahoo going around, but that doesn't matter. It's a pretty quiet place, so you can have a bit of a Yahoo, can't you? So anyway, guys, so far, I'm loving this. I've got to tell you, I'm already giving it 5 out of 5. For taste, that is. Five, five stars out of five for taste. It's a bloody beauty. But I'm someone who likes the creamy type sauce, Alfredo, whatever. Bacon and chicken always go good together. This is a great combination. Beautiful. The sauce is not too overpowering and it's not too weak. It's really nice. Let's see what's in the crust. I actually don't know if that's stuffed crust. I don't think that actually is, or is it? No, I think it's just a shape. But anyway, I'm not too disappointed about stuffed crust. I mean, who needs extra cheese, really? And I could have changed that and just had a normal thing which they've probably gotten it wrong anyway. Whoa! Man, that's not working. Chuck that on there. That's another thing too, it's, it's not a bad pizza, it's not too runny, that was cheesy, but... I'm quite impressed. But, let's see if there is anything in the crust. That one feels pretty thick. That's so big, everything's just falling off it. <laughs> I need a knife and fork for this one. I have heard it's not, you're not supposed to eat pizza with a knife and fork, but this one, I reckon you do. Well, there's, there's really nothing in the crust that I can see. So it sort of doesn't surprise me that they didn't get that, but I did order it on the app. If I had it went in the store and said, can I get the, cheese, uh, the stuffed crust? Well, that probably would have been done, but that wasn't part of this pizza. That was just an option you can get for free. If you want to order that uh, stuffed crust, it's going to cost you an extra three dollars. So this would have cost, on a normal day without the limited time offer, that would have been over twenty dollars for this pizza with a stuffed crust. But on average, just a normal thin or pan base, which is what this is, pan personal pan, seventeen ninety five just for the standard premium pizza. So for value, I got to say. It's got a lot of toppings on. It's really nice. It's, it's a great pizza. It's not big. It's just, it's their large. Now, somewhere else you might get something a bit bigger, but these days, that's pretty much a gourmet pizza to me. Um, value, I actually give it four, because if you compare that to the normal pizza shops like that aren't Domino's and Pizza Hut, well, you know, that's a pretty standard sort of pizza. So I'll give it four for value, pizza-wise. Taste. Five out of five. Absolutely love it. Look at that nice piece of bacon there. Mushroom. So that's a new one. I might just fold that up because I oh, can't even do that. It's just it's actually so big, so thick. Like I said, I could feel the weight in it. It was really good. And the fella there. I don't know if he was Indian or Sri Lankan. Couldn't have been nicer. Best, like I've had some pretty rubbish customer service lately in my video, which, you know, doesn't really bother me. But that's the reason why I'll be back to this store. It's the second time I've seen this fella. I've only been twice lately to Pizza Hut here. He's the nicest fella. Great customer service. And that's what keeps people coming back. And then... He's come up with something that actually tastes good. It's great. So guys, I know people don't like Domino's and they some a lot of people prefer Pizza Hut. Pizza Hut just aren't doing the deals and stuff like that. But I, I got to tell you, Pizza Hut isn't close to me. Domino's is. That's partly why I go to it. But also Domino's give me a lot of deals, a lot of offers, and to have a pizza every now and then, it's not a bad deal. But this. Is the goods this is a, like a proper pizza it's fantastic
anyway, I don't know if I'll be able to eat all that. But, not, yeah, I will eventually eat it, but I mean right now. That's a beautiful pizza. So, guys, if you get a chance to try that one, the creamy chicken and bacon, and you want a little gourmet pizza, which has got a lot of toppings, it'll fill you up, give that one a go. So I can't eat any more of that. I'm full. There's stuff falling off everywhere. It's a fantastic pizza. I was really surprised. I thought, you know, this could be just an average thing. But full of flavour, full of taste. It's to me not bad value because, i tell you, if there was someone else here with me and we were sharing this, we probably would both be oh, man, full. We probably both would be full. But, um... I'm not going to eat this now, I'll heat it up later, I don't mind pizza heated up, and when it tastes this good, of course, why not? But, I wasn't going to do a review of this, guys, but I was like, I have to review it now, because I found out in the store that it's only a couple of weeks old. And it's worth reviewing, it's a fantastic pizza. The Pizza Hut, you've come through as far as value, well, not, maybe not so much value, but, uh, you know, the taste and variety, it's a great pizza. So, I'll, um, give, like I said, give it four for value, I'll give it five for taste it's a fantastic pizza plenty on it so guys i'll be eating this again for another meal later and it's not even the biggest pizza going around so it's just a normal large pizza so i hope you enjoyed that video about finally time i did a pizza hut one and you know what after this i just might do another one again so remember guys hope you enjoyed the video and remember you can never be too aussie hooroo